Hi, I'm Randy Weddick from Band Pro Film and Digital. I wanted to talk to you about the IBE Raptor lenses. In the world of high-end commercials, there's almost always a product shot, and that's usually shot on a macro lens. With macro lenses, you're kind of given a choice between an older macro lens made in the 80s or previously, or a brand new lens that's extremely expensive. And what the IBE Raptors do is kind of give you modern, super, super high-end performance, but at a much lower price. There are a new line of lenses from IBE and Band Pro, and uh, currently feature three focal lengths. There's a 100, a 150, and a 180 mil. They're all 95 millimeter outer diameter. They're all T29. They all go to a one-to-one -one macro. Additionally, all these lenses are designed to be future-proofed in a way that they uh, not only cover Super 35, but they cover out to a VistaVision aperture and even a little bit larger. We went out with Gary Adcock to Chicago and also Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we met with a couple of chefs in Chicago. It's called El Ideas, and the chef there is Phil Foss. He's got a lot of really great dishes. A lot of them are very small, and they contain very fine details, so that made for a very ideal subject to shoot. One of the challenges we gave ourselves in this shoot was to only shoot with the Raptor lenses. So that means our widest lens is 100 millimeter. So basically every shot you'll see in the short shot with a Raptor. We were able to really put these lenses through their paces. Not only did we use a Super 35 camera, the uh, F55, and we were able to get in really close on things like micro tweezers dropping a single flower petal onto a dish. We were also able to use it on a full frame camera because it has such large coverage to shoot medium shots in our interviews. These lenses have what's called an apochromatic design, and what that means is that it's designed to reject color fringing. And that's something that is exacerbated when you've got a macro lens, and say you're up really, really close focus, and you've got a lot of backlight, and you're up against a white backdrop. What's going on with these lenses? They're gonna reject a lot of the purple and green fringing you're gonna see on like more like vintage macros or older macros. It's a really high performance macro capable of capturing all the detail you would ever need. But what's interesting about it is also the rendering of the out of focus details is nice and soft and gradual. So you transition from a zone of really high sharpness to slightly less sharpness, slightly less sharpness, and then finally into softness. And that makes for a really nice image. This is truly a versatile lens and it's extremely high performance in the macro. These lenses are delivering now, so for order inquiries or to schedule a demo, contact Bampro.